Because there aren't enough subscription services already, Nickelodeon is launching a streaming platform. The new channel is called Nick Splat, and it will be packed with as much nostalgia as Dan and Danny Tamborelli's socks were with slime in the 90s. That sounds a little bit weird when you say it out loud. The channel is available from video aggregate platform Verve and features such beloved classics as Are You Afraid of the Dark, Rocco's Modern Life, Keenan and Kel, Legends of the Hidden Temple, Doug, and lots more Nicktoon and Snick favorites. A standalone subscription to Nick Splat costs $5.99 per month and is included in the Verve Premium Bundle for $9.99 a month. Nickelodeon is also reviving Blue's Clues and Rugrats in the near future. The schedule and details for Marvel's Spider-Man DLC were shared on the PlayStation blog today. Called The City That Never Sleeps, it consists of three installments. The first chapter, titled The Heist, comes out October 23rd. This portion will focus on Black Cat, featuring new missions, new enemies, and three additional spider suits. The next two installments, Turf Wars and Silver Lining, arrive in November and December 2018. Those will bring in new characters and suits as well, but the specifics haven't been unveiled just yet. Players can grab their friendly neighborhood DLC bundle for $24.99, the individual installments for $9.99 each, or pre-order the deluxe edition of the game, plus the DLC for $79.99. The first PlayStation 2 game to hit 1 million in sales is getting the remaster treatment. Capcom will release an updated version of Onimusha Warlords on January 15th of next year. Easily one of the best titles available for the PS2 at the time of its release, the game lets you play as a samurai killing demons and going on a rescue mission in feudal Japan, so it's definitely an improvement on whatever is happening in your life right now. This new version features enhanced graphics, cutscenes, analog stick support, a new soundtrack, and newly recorded voice acting. The remastered Onimusha Warlords will be available for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Switch. And that is your daily fix for August 28th. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out a review of Dragon Quest XI. It sounds like a watershed entry in one of the longest running JRPG franchises. With that, I'm Max Scovo. Don't forget to download the IGN app, follow the daily fix on Snapchat, and remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.com.